Hello, I am Omkar, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas, Texas. Today I'm going to show you how you can run an Amazon Athena query with a considerably long string length without facing any errors. Let's get started. After logging in to the AWS management console, navigate to the Athena console, type Athena into the search bar. Then select the small slide out window using the three line icon on the left to navigate to the query editor. Here you can see I have two example queries amongst which the first query is performing an alter table operation to add more partitions to the table WMR underscore data underscore stores which resides in the default database. And second query, which is trying to select multiple columns based on some filters from the table insurance metadata values, which also resides in the default database. However, when I run these queries separately, I see an error saying query string failed to satisfy constraint. Member must have length less than or equal to 262.144 in case of both the queries. This error occurs because our queries exceed maximum query string length supported by Athena, which is 262.144 bytes, which is not an adjustable quota parameter. Therefore, in order to resolve this error, we need to split such long queries into multiple smaller queries. Let us see how we can do this using multiple DDL statements. Let's consider the first query again and split it into multiple DDL statements. Now let's run each query separately. This results in the same final result table which is partitioned but does not throw an error as each query string is not greater than 262.144 bytes. Also we can confirm that all partitions were added to the table navigating to Glue Console where we can see multiple partitions have been added successfully. Using views, let's consider the second query again, which is trying to select multiple columns based on some filters. And let's create a view of those columns, which the query is trying to select using create view statements. I already have these create view statements ready. Now let's run select asterisk from view query to select the values from both the views together. This successfully selects the same columns and returns filtered values without any error. Using create table as select CTAS. Let's consider the second query again, which is trying to select multiple columns based on some filters and let's create a new table consisting of those columns, which the query is trying to select using create table as select CTAS query. I already have the CTAS statement queries ready. Now let's run select asterisk from table query to select the values from both the CTAS tables together. This query successfully runs the same columns without any error. Additionally, you can also shorten table, column and database names to decrease string length if query string exceeds the maximum query string length of 262.144 bytes. So now you know how to run AWS Athena queries exceeding maximum query string length using multiple ways like creating DDL statements, using Athena views or using CTA statements. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.